Hello everyone and welcome back to DJ's Gaming. We are here with our first episode ever of Baldur's Gate 3. I believe this is Baldur's Gate 3. Now I actually played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 on the PlayStation way back when. So I'm curious... And I know there's a bunch of other Baldur Gate series, and so I'm not sure if they're connected or not. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. I'm gonna take the chance to go and turn the volume down. Oh, that is so cool looking. All right, it's a new game. A fraught deadly campaign away limit limited to a single save file um, normally I either would go Explorer or balanced because um, I, I usually like the story but we're gonna go balanced because balanced I feel like is probably gonna be like how the game should be played at least that's that's what I think Some kind of brain leech. That is... Oh. Ugh. That was mildly unnerving. Tutorials can help you learn the core mechanics of all the tree. <laughs> Would you like to turn them on? Yes, let's... I have never played this version of Baldur's Gate, so yes. Origin characters. So, these are the origin characters. We're going to go custom. I like custom. So, race, race. Um, let's see here. Race features can move 9 meters per turn. Elven weapon training. Dark vision. Fey ancestry. Against being charmed and magic can't put you to sleep. Is there dwarfs? There's dwarfs! Dwarf, dwarf, dwarf. <laughs> for, for those who don't know, I almost always play a dwarf. <laughs> uh, durable and unyielding as their homes of stone, dwarves are some of the fiercest warriors, miners, and smiths of Ferulion. So, I'm a little bit slower. And, of course, I am proficient with battle axes, hand axes, light hammer, and war hammer. I do have dark vision and Dwarven Resilience, I have an advantage on saving throws against poison, and you have resistance to poison damage. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with Dwarf. Now, sub-race. 
gold dwarves, these dwarves are known for their confidence and keen intuition. The culture of their deep kingdom values family, ritual, and fine craftsmanship. Your hit point maximum increases by one and increases by one again every time you gain a level. Shield Dwarf. Great losses in ancient wars against goblins and orcs have led these dwarves to adopt to a cynical mindset, but they will endure anything to restore their ancestral homeland. And I have armor proficiency with light and medium armor. Then Drugar, which is kind of dark elves. Once enslaved by the Eldric Mind Flares, Grugar adapted to freedom with harsh practicality. Their cold demeanors and gift of stealth are well known throughout the Underdark. So, superior dark vision and Drugar resistance, which you have advantage to saving throws against illusions and against being charmed or paralyzed, I think I might go with a shield dwarf because... I like going hardcore defense. And honestly, I am mildly building... <laughs> I am building... I don't actually have a name for the dwarf, but I, I pretty much I have a, uh, have a dwarf that I build in d and um, Gonna go fighter. Okay. I have second wind, which can do some healing. Okay. Now, fighting style is going to be defense. What's protection? I have no... Oh, it does actually show a little bit of a thing. Uh, you gain a plus one armor class. while wearing armor and protection when you have a shield impose disadvantage on an attack against your allies when you are within 1.5 meters you must be able to see the attacker honestly I think that might be more of what I would go as background acolyte spent your life serving to a temple no I would say I'm a would be a soldier you're trained in battlefield tactics and combats. You have served in the militia, mercenary company, or officer corps. Show smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield to enhance your prowess. And so we get athletics and intimidation abilities. Okay, assign bonus. Um. Honestly, I'm okay with these. Athletics, which is strength. Acrobatics, which is dex. Survival, which is wisdom. And intimidation, which is charisma. Right, charisma. Can I do that? Hmm. <laughs> How many ability points? Here, let's clear it and see exactly. Okay. Okay, so I can assign two bonus point or three bonus points to different things. So let's assign that to dexterity and strength. Do that. I don't like having negatives. Okay. Now, I'm going to do that. That looks good. I can change my skill proficiencies. Acrobatics, athletics. Um, oh, animal handling. Okay, so wait, what do I have? I have acrobatics, athletics, intimidation, and survival. Let's actually... Oh, I can't. Intimidation, I'm just... How many? 
Huh. Okay, and I only get to pick two. Okay. You may customize your skills in the list below. If you are proficient in a skill, you add a bonus to those skill checks, making you more likely to succeed. I want survival. Most likely we'll have someone who is acrobatic. I want animal handling. Yes, I, and it's a wisdom. And I just, for some reason, I feel like I need it. I, I want animal handling for some reason. Just because. And I'm honestly okay with the look. And then... TJ. Great. Well, let's not cap it all. TJ Kevin. Ha ha. All right. You need a guardian. Oh. I I need a guardian. So, what is that? Um, you know what? I think and I am tempted go with a drow as my guardian. And raised by lost cult in the sea, these drow embody the virtues of corrupt and merciless goddess. What's this one? Oh, it's from all over. All right, let's go with that one. General, yeah, it's fine. I don't really get to, like, decide her class or anything. Why is there not someone by the bell? Dragon Riders.
I sure hope those dragons did not just burn us. I don't think he meant to come here. Okay. Oh, my head. Someone else got out. Okay. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Difficult class is ten. Some dialogue options require a still check. A dice roll must be met or exceed a target number. Your character skill adds a bonus to this roll. Alright. Please be good. Please be good. It's only a 10. We got 7. Wow, frick. Okay, that's kind of cool, though. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Right, I'm not gonna mess with the pool. Here goes nothing. What's up for discussion? Oh, dude, alive over here. To save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. Please. Before they return. They return. Um. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the Mind Flayers who abducted you. Yep, no, we're not. Sorry, I am not saving the Mind Flayers. I wonder if he had anything on him. Nope. Dang it. Still, I can't believe I passed the Arcana and I'm a fighter. Do I have weapons? That's one thing I just thought of. Do I have weapons? I have no weapons. Sword, and a flash of your face 
seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. We carry Mind Flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be Geich, Mind Flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. I love her armor. First, we exterminate the Geichs. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Again, I have no weapons. I mean, I know they're just imps, but I have no weapons. <laughs> Get ready to fight. Combat happens around and each participant gets a turn to act. The game pauses around your around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Okay. Rush attack. Off balance. Pommel strike. Lacerate. Let's see here. Can I do... Do that one. Wait, do I have a sword? Wait, one moment. I do have a sword. Where? Oh, <laughs> there it is, right there. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. I will move here. I'll end my turn. How many hit points do they have? Six? So honestly, let's do another rush attack with her. Can we loot in the middle of combat? <laughs> we can loot in the middle of combat. That's funny. And honestly, I'm gonna stay here. Let them... Oh, why don't they have fireball? Ha! Missed! Sucker. Let's get this Okay. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Okay. Now. Huh, where's the helm? That's kind of my curiosity right now. Death Thrall. Ooh. Potion of Healing. This is another imp with a crossbow. Incinerated Mind Flare. Potion of Speed and a Void Bulb. Fill this imp bulb at a target and possibly pull in nearby objects and creatures. Ooh. That seems like fun. Can't slow down. I'm not injured in any way. Okay, it looks like I need to go this way. The ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Another thrall. Gold. I'm a looter. I loot everything. <laughs> Okay, auto save. Gage machinery. I can make no sense of it. Machine made them style. Okay. And I can't. Okay. 
but can I maybe pommel strike? Nice! Time to and then my turn. And... Missed. Jump, dip, shove. On the move. Let's have her move here. Oh, he's stupid mage. Okay. Dip a weapon to the surface to alter the surface or enhance the weapon. Dip both weapons. Okay. Must be a dippable surface. Um, honestly, I'm gonna end my turn. And... Mm. Bonus action, action. Oh. She just randomly attacked air. Another day ah, the I can do this though. <laughs> Bonus action, potion of speed. I, can, I can't do that. Alright. Um. Just do that. <laughs> Where's that? Better not be cursed. You! Get me out of this casting! We have no time for stragglers. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? That contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! That contraption? Or this contraption? It was that contraption. The console appears dormant. I'm just Nothing. gonna hit it. The console remains dormant. Okay. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. Then you spy an empty socket. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. How much farther can I go? Okay. I have... The console appears dormant. Look for a switch. Okay, so I can't. I'm not sure how you're supposed to get her out. There's two doors. I don't know which door. Let's take this door. And then if this... See if this door... Okay. Aquarium fire. Okay, that door goes that way. So let's see here. Can I pull up the map? This is the map you're using. You can view quest stop locations and place custom markers. Find a way to release the gate. That's reached the helm. Okay, so it's a good thing that we're actually going. I want to have a word. You are beautiful. 
Okay. So I actually do want to open this. This may be the right place to go. Anything of use? Gold key. Can I actually open it now? Nice. Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Let's see here, another dead thrall. With, let's see here, Hulchagrin of Strange, a uh, quill, and some gold. Hmm. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Another brain. Okay, so wait, did I actually learn how to. I think I may have learned. I, I may have figured out how to. So what does this do? As you I'm, place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Um, I may that be bad. Oh, I may be bad. I may do bad there. That was stupid. I should not have done that. I should not have done that. I feel so bad for her. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. I'm just gonna leave the mind flare in there now. But I can now get her out, which is probably a good thing because that'll add three people to our party. The console appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? Okay. I don't get any bonuses. Oh, I did it. Oh, thank goodness. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. All right, let's free her. Ah, uh, Feel like free in her. You feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Difficulty class two. In other words, don't roll a one. <laughs> your command and yield to it a shiver runs across your mind you feel sated Ooh, and she carries a mace. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. You keep dangerous company. If 
fair point. Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. Also, he's not dead. She's I just right. knocked him out. Lead on. Okay, well, now we know that we need to go Disherway. Yeah, this thing's just. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Alright, you two, we're trying to work together. Please don't be stupid. Deal with the Geich after we escape. We need to get out of here now. Okay, so we, I missed. I have time to do a ability to do a pumble attack though and daze him. Okay. Oh, she has a shield. Right, yeah, I just shield. Let's do this. And what else can she do? Shield of faith, healing word. I think she's a paladin. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, look at that. The cantrips. Huh, maybe I should have not attacked with her physically. Okay. Let my name be known. Okay, now it's my turn again. to get all the way over there. Jump up, down, across, your strength affects how far you can jump. Okay, that was kind of cool, not gonna lie. I was able to jump that far. So let's see here. What do we have? Resistance. Make turns to dispel effects and conditions. Guidance. Sacred flame. And then fireball. Honestly, let's... Get rid of this lesser imp with fire. because I like the idea of fire. And at the moment, I don't need to worry about healing.
Nice. And I can get rid of the imp. Don't waste a step. How much hit points he has? He has 85. High defense. Okay, well then, maybe uh, hit points. Yeah, 150. Uh, grants another creature. Advantage on stealth checks. Disguise self. Charm person. That's not going to work. Maybe sacred fame? Isn't that a cantrip? Oh, she hit! <laughs> ha! That was cool. Probably not the best idea, but that was cool. Ignore the devil. We must take the transponder. Taking position. I'm trying, I'm trying. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Got the dragon riders running around too. Hurry before they strike. I'm trying. I'm trying. The ship hits the ground. We're dead. Can I also dash? Yeah, I'm going to full on dash here using up all my turn points. And let's dash her up too. Holy Hannah, how far can I go? Pretty dang far. I like it. He's hardly done any damage. I've done damage to him. He hasn't. Okay. Make good, way. good, good. Keep it up, guys. We're doing it. We're getting forward. We're almost there. I'm gonna have to kill these guys, though. Time to press ahead. Forward, is Mind Flare is almost dead. Yeah, it's gonna. Oh, because I'm yeah right next to this guy. So let's hit him. Oh, I only got to do that. Awesome. Has he actually done any act? actual damage to that thing like for reals yeah some no we don't want to pummel let's just do main hand strike finish the boar off and then we'll pummel this lesser imp dazing him end the turn there then I am gonna come over and to the transponder the alien transponder you made it in time
As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Unique items. Go to your personal chest in camp during a long rest to find some of your unique DLC items. I don't remember if I have unique DLC items. Okay. So these are both shoulder or er, soldiers. She's an acolyte. And I can have a maximum of four. Okay, so I haven't actually done anything as of yet to get inspiration. Um, Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Excuse me. Alright, well, I mean, there's only really one way to go, and that's this way. Shadow Heart's right here. So, saving her was probably a good thing. this place but anything's an improvement on where we just came from first things first we need supplies shelter and most of all a healer we might have escaped but we still have these little monsters in our heads you might want to reconsider calling her a friend looks like she ran off without us We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. Yay. But you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Okay. Continue traveling with Shadowheart. We recruited a half elf named Shadowheart. She is also abroad, aboard the Natriloid and infected with the parasite. And can I see her inventory? I can. Mysterious artifact, which is bound to her, and she has a light crossbow. So, okay, and I. You can switch between holding your ranged or melee weapon. You can find the buttons in your hotbar. Okay, and then me, what do I have? I mean, I have a crossbow as well, so I could probably. Okay. I think I'm proficient with it. Then these are scimitars. Ah, <sighs> I'm wanting sword and shield. I'm wanting a sword and shield. Is what I'm wanting. 
because be you know I'm a, a sword and shield type guy at least that's how my character is built highlight nearby items ha ah, I knew there was something that could do that something good here I hope I wish I figured that out a long time ago What's that? A hat. Okay. I. Er, that's going deeper into that. This is going that way. Um. Honestly, let's loot this and loot this. And then honestly, let's go deeper into the thing because the thing might have the ability to they might have the thing to cure us. Random hammer, rope, and thieves tools. Dang. That was a nice Be sure to collect food and drinks. You will need them to restore your health and resources when taking a long rest. More of those wretched things. I'm not sure if going into this thing is the best option? Okay, these things actually want to fight me. I didn't think they would actually want to fight me. Vicious filth. Best keep some distance or this will be a short time. Okay. The only thing I can do is Ooh. I can give myself more AC. I, I like the sound of that. Okay. Not sh these guys don't seem to be that powerful. And both of them are pretty beat up already. So, I don't think... Yeah, I mean, that guy is... About to be gone. Where do I go from here? And just leveled up, too. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, he hit hard. survival isn't such a distant prospect. And we leveled up. Short rest. Take a short rest to recover half your hit points and some other resources. Open the rest menu, initiate short rest. And then of course we also leveled up. And, well, in it. I've been recording for a while, so after this level up we'll, we'll probably end. Okay. Action surge. Immediately gain an extra action to use this turn. I am now a level 2 fighter. Alright. Now you can multi-class. I'm not going to multi-class. I'm going to just keep going fighter. And then she leveled up. She's a cleric. So health increase from 10 to 17. She got a level 1 spell slot and channel divinity charges plus turn undead and invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion within 3 meters of the illusion. Attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Okay, and then what spells are they suggesting? 
You can only cast from a limited selection of spells at a time. Select which spells you have prepared for the total list of spells you know. Okay, so she has Inflict Wounds, Guiding Bolt, Healing Word, Shield of Faith, and Cure Wounds. Yeah, because she just went up from... Yeah. Yeah. I can also go with you are an ally cannot be targeted until you're, you attack or harm a creature. You can still take damage from area spells. Create or destroy water. Bane. Up to three creatures receive a negative 1d4 penalty on attack rolls. Command. Bless. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Eh. And Let's get on then it. we're going to go here. And let's do healing word. Can she heal her word herself? She can. Brings herself up to 15. And I think we are going to end, end there for today. And we will continue this another day. I am not sure which way we should go. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you in the next episode.